Absolutely gorgeous today, guys. Just a beautiful, beautiful day. Look at that, not a cloud in the sky today. Uh, I believe we're only going to be mid-70s today, temperature-wise. So, really, really nice. No breeze, there's no wind, so just absolutely gorgeous today. I have a bunch of stuff that I want to get done today, <laughs> so uh, I thought I would make a quick video first, and then I'm going to get busy after that. I have, uh, like I said, I have some things that I have to take care of, uh, but uh, I got to get into the uh, shipping container and get some stuff that I want to put into the the new shed over here, and. Uh, I got to actually one of the first things I'm going to do here when I start uploading this video I have this beekeeping stuff over here that's going to go in here as well so slowly trying to get things organized <laughs> it just takes time it's like okay what next what is the next thing that I have to do but uh, slow and steady but I have uh, I have a few more things out of the battery room that I want to clean up in there and uh, but I'll actually we'll take a walk over there real quick and I'll I'll show you how much more open it is now on the back side uh, like I said I have I have to really organize there's something in my shoe uh, the back side yeah, that's smart watch out how it no stop stop She's a nut. You have no idea what it's like until you lean over and you get a wet nose or a tongue on the side of your face. It's just wonderful. All right. Um, I got to get in here and organize in here as well. <clears throat> got a bunch of crap just sitting on the floor here. But if you look back here, there's a whole lot less stuff back here. Uh, these are some cases of number 10 cans. I got stuff boxed up in those boxes there. Uh, there's three boxes there. It's got the big jars that I got stuff uh, stashed away in there. But uh, yeah, it's like way, everything's way, way more open. So I'm going to reorganize in here. Some of this stuff is getting, getting reorganized as well. So yeah, it just. Uh, I'm gonna spend some time in here doing that. Uh, like I said, these have got to get filled. So, quite a bit to do. A lot of stuff going on. It's just a matter of uh, just slowly getting at it. You know, start. Well, like I, I have a list in my head of what I want to get accomplished today, and I'm just gonna start slowly checking it off. But uh, you know, organizing that battery room. I don't know. That might take me an hour. I don't know. I got, like I said, I got to go up into the shipping container first. So I'm going to do that first thing as soon as I get this video started uploading and uh, kind of go from there. But, uh, and then we got Miss Hella. So, anyway, just uh, a good good day for getting things squared away. You know, it's funny. I wanted One of the things I wanted to talk about in this video um, was prepper burnout. Uh, a lot of burnout in prepping. A lot of people get really, really burned out. You get to a point where you're prepping, 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 uh, realizing, you know, oh my God, I'm like so far behind, right? I'm so far behind. I have to do this. I have to do that. I have to do the other thing. Um, what I would encourage you is, you know, just like I said, again, set moderate goals for yourself. Just work at things methodically. Uh, don't overwhelm yourself because that's what that's where the, a lot of times the problem ends up lying people get overwhelmed Because they think I have to do all of this and I have to do all of that and I have to do all the other thing and you really don't uh, You know you just I mean there is there a lot to do is there a lot to do as far as preparations of course there is I mean it, it's is it never-ending of course it is but like I said if you like I said set those goals check them off um, and it's easy. It's as easy as this, guys. 
you have a two week supply of food, you have a two week supply of water, right? And maybe you're starting to work on some other things as well, um, preparation wise. And then you say to yourself, okay, now that I got two weeks worth of food, let's make it three. And then you just start making, working towards that goal of getting to that three weeks worth of food. It's really not that hard and it, and it shouldn't have to be that overwhelming uh, for you. And then when you hit that goal of three weeks and you go, okay, well now we got three weeks worth of food. What are we doing next? Uh, you know, it's sim something as simple as this, guys. I'm going to show you something, okay? We're going to walk over here. Uh, so I had picked up this water barrel, right? 50 bucks for the barrel. And I'm using it, obviously, as a rain catchment right now. But if you have a way to filter your water, like I have my Berkey and I have other options as well, it's got the ring and it's got this, it screws on to the top of this. But if I pull this off, you can see I got water in there. Um, I keep that lid on there so that other you know, bugs and stuff don't get into the water. But uh, if you get something like that, and even if you're using tap water, for an example, there's 55 gallons or 50 gallons of water right there. That's a lot of water. And if you're looking at one person per day, or one gallon per person per day for water, you know, that's going to take care of a lot of days. Stored that way doesn't take up a tremendous amount of space. So it's something as easy as that uh, can put you on that path to being where you want to be. And so I think that that's important. It's, it's, it's trying to continue to keep it simplified. Don't overwhelm yourselves when it comes to prepping. And uh, just like I said, just take care of things as you can. Now, obviously on a homestead, there's a million and one things that can be done, needs to be done, needs to be taken care of. And so, like I said, right now, my focus is reorganizing and, uh, you know, like I said, getting the gas in the position where it needs to be and, uh, you know, just slowly working at things. And that's, it just takes time, it just takes time. So anyway, guys, I am going to jump off of here for now. Remember, folks, we truly are all in this together. We are one race called the human race as soon as we can figure that one out. Also remember to hug and kiss the ones that you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life. So it's really important that we tell the people that we care about every day how we feel. Last but not least, STD. Step, thing, and day. One step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only one that's going to stop you from achieving your goals is you. That's it. Nobody else. Stay positive. Stay away from the negativity and you're going to be just fine. All right. I hope everybody has a great day and I will talk to you later. Prepper Nurse One, out for now.